All right, everyone. Today, we're going to learn about how the CNC machine actually does the V carving. After we're done tool pathing it, what do we do next? So I want, to, I want you to see that process. How do we prepare the material and how does it actually do the carving? So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is get the blanks, the four by four inch by 10 inch pieces of wood that are gonna go on the machine. So here I just have a couple pine boards, set the table saw to four inches on the fence and I'm gonna rip four inch strips down. Then uh, get the fence out of the way. And I'm using a cross cut sled to cut each one precisely 10 inches long. This is important because it has to fit into a holder on the CNC machine. So here we are in the CNC room. Right now I have a quarter inch spiral bit because we had to cut out this little holder area to fit to fit our, our blanks in. I've got this webcam set up for you so that we can watch it happen. And everything is controlled over here on this computer. We saved the files to a thumb drive. And we're gonna open the program here. First, I have to change the bit in the machine. So the power on the CNC machine is controlled by that box, but this down here is the controller and the wrench that I use to change the router bit is connected to this interlock, which if this is disengaged, the machine cannot turn on. There's no power going to it, so it's safe to change the bit. That's why it's the key is tethered to the wrench, so you're never changing the bit when power is on. Now power is on. The router bit that's in there is a 60 degree V bit tightened into the router. Now we're going to get the, and now we'll get the wood set up. Now normally we have this dust collection hooked up and it pulls all the sawdust up this tube. However, I want you to be able to see what's happening. So I took that off. So it's gonna be a little more dusty than usual. But now if we go over to our computer and we're ready to cut out our welcome to wood shop sample and hit open. It's gonna confirm everything we wanna know. I'm gonna turn on the dust collection. So it still will pull up any dust in the air. And hit start. It's confirming the tool. And we hit the start button first, which that's caused to spin. And now we say, okay. And it will begin cutting out the pattern.
All right, it's all done. Now we'll get it out of here. Okay, so there's a little bit, it's a little rough in here, but that can be cleaned up. Some of that is because we didn't use a flat tool like I showed you when once in the demo. The wood shop lettering came out great. Two is a little bit thin. You can see the lines could be fatter, those, those, that text. The star came out really nice. But you see the font selection here for the W, it gets a little thin. So when you get to the E, it really, the E really didn't come out. But the design is there. This is a good first prototype to test this out. But the welcome needs work, two needs work, especially when you look at it from far away. So if that were to be on the door, you really would only see the wood shop and maybe the room number. But of course we can, we're gonna paint this. We're just gonna give this a little bit of sanding. see what that's done is it kind of filled the grooves with some dust but it looks much better already just a little bit of sanding pull that dust out <clears throat> it looks better already smooth on the top we want to clean up that a little bit I'm gonna use blue because that's what I have I'm gonna paint around, I'm gonna fill up this border. So that's kind of what we're going for with the paint. We want to make sure every little groove is full of paint. Even if it's sloppy on the outside, it's okay. We let this dry and we're going to run the sandpaper over the top like we did earlier and only the paint in the letters or in the carved parts will show through. Okay, pretty good. You can see here now why these letters needed to be a little bit bolder because after I sanded off the blue, it just made those, it just wasn't a deep enough cut. The V didn't go far enough into the wood to allow paint to soak in and highlight it. Two came out pretty good, wood shop came out awesome and 170 came out awesome. So if you even looked at that from far away, you, would, uh, you, would, you might not be able to see the welcome, but everything else looks pretty good. So on redesign, I would probably redo the welcome to be more bold. The location is good. I could also make the letters, see all this extra room I have? I have all this extra space. I could make these letters much larger and deeper to do that whole section. But that's the design process. We get to the end, redesign. Is there a better way? But that's an example of brainstorm to final product right there. So that is the process. You saw that example. The letters were a little bit shallow, so the paint didn't soak in. So on redesign, I did a new one and I showed you that in class. We got that new wood shop with the deeper, deeper letters. I'll show that in a future video, but that's the process. If we get through the design and it looks like it'll work and we carve it out, if it needs to be redone, we'll change the design a little bit and we'll carve it again. When you're all done, if you wanted to make a different one, we could do the whole process over again. But now you know how the machine actually does the work. And we've just skimmed the surface. There's a lot more to this, but you know the basics. And now when you look around town or anywhere you see a sign that has those V-carved letters, you know how it was done. So let's get to work. Yeah!